I've opened the market alert uh, for Monday 14th of October 2019. So Bitcoin price flat lines at uh, 8,400 as Bollinger Bands predict uh, breakout. And this is a breakout uh, to the upside. As it says here, Bitcoin price uh, bulls looked as if they were taking charge last week as uh, BTC USD rose by over 1,000, albeit momentarily. So let's have a look and see what's going on. It has been fairly quiet as we discussed last week. And one of the other issues of lines is the 200 MA in the daily chart as well. And you can see uh, certainly on Friday uh, where the market uh, met with some resistance. Also Thursday and uh, you can see that potential weakness with the selling bar and uh, also the telegraph pole there, and the market pulling back. However, prices are holding at the uh, 20 MA, but you can see how quiet this market's become. So I would uh, stand aside uh, until this market uh, breaks out. And you can see this in the four hour as well. It's become uh, really sideways there, but holding above the uh, 50 bar MA there and the 200 uh, sitting up here. Could do with a breakout, pullback, uh, and then try and get in. The market could trade sideways uh, for a bit. Uh, yesterday, you can see how quiet it was. We barely had uh, a $50 range until uh, the market uh, did eventually uh, break out. So uh, with the 20 bar higher than the 50, the 50 higher than the 200, and the market trading uh, only up uh, $100. And then overnight, uh, the market being forced back. Uh, classic shakeout. Uh, I suppose it's okay to trade off something like this where you can see this huge volume coming and you see the market testing. Uh, we're down at the pivot levels as well. Market puts in a 76% retracement and is uh, now moving uh, higher, which uh, I'll just draw this in so you can see from this low to this high. There's your 76% there. And then price is uh, moving up. A uh, bit of a pullback there as well. And then back above the 20 bar moving average. However, you'll see that prices have got to contend with the 200 MA where they've stopped. Uh, they will need to drive through this, come back and sit on it, and then move higher if prices are to move higher. So really barring something like this where you get a really big volume in a shakeout, uh, at the moment, uh, just be uh, careful of the moves. Uh, nothing we can do about it. It's just how this happens now and again from... Uh, January of this year the markets moved up uh, significantly which uh, you will see here all the way through you can see there it took off in uh, well, April uh, there was a move before then as well as we uh, move back there you'll see where prices started to go in December breaking the downtrend that was in fact let's just load up a, a weekly chart and that way you'll see it uh, clearly and uh, we can show more on the chart as well. So there you go. That's uh, what uh, I'm talking about there. You see where prices have moved uh, vertically. Nowhere near the uh, all time high, which if I just do this, you'll see there, but uh, certainly significantly. So now it's waiting, as the article says, to um, break out uh, to the uh, upside there. So again, you can see. Uh, the last week we're building a bit of a sideways move there so just a, a note of caution there uh, for this market at, at the moment meanwhile in the stock market uh, global stocks uh, saw ahead of yet to be written almost complete trade deal that could still fail uh, very ironic and tongue-in-cheek but absolutely true this is the thing that's uh, going to be able to drive the markets because let's face it the financial methadone that is being pumped into the markets now by the Fed, who said it's not QE4, but it is QE4 in any other uh, sense of the word. And uh, major problems coming, absolutely no doubts about uh, this as far as uh, the stock market is concerned and the global financial uh, network as well with the amount of money that they're starting to print, uh, 60 billion a month. And they've still got the repo market where that's growing as well. They said it was only for a few days and now that's been going on for at least a month. So things aren't looking good. And that's uh, for sure. That's a, a bit of an understatement. Um, as I've always said, 2008 was the warm-up act 
for what uh, we would get uh, later on. Yes, it may have taken 10 years, and yes, I may have been going on about it for 10 years, but I have absolutely no doubts about it coming to uh, fruition at uh, some point, and it's starting to look very, very strange indeed. Starting off with the daily chart in the Dow, you can see the market trading up to 76% on Friday. No uh, major volume, uh, and there hasn't been. As you could say there was a, a bit there, but uh, it's because the market didn't close on the high. But that's short covering anyway. No new buying. And here we see uh, prices uh, struggling. They're above the 20 bar moving average, and all the averages are lined up for a higher move. But this market is looking very, very tired. Uh, and again, I'm just going to load up a, a weekly chart uh, for this market too. And it's only when you stand back and look at the bigger picture that you actually see uh, what I mean about uh, starting to look tired. So let's just um, put on some volume there and then drag this back. And you'll see all the way through from September, if you look at this in a monthly chart, it's even uh, better. But uh, you can see there the market moving fine all the way through uh, Trump when he first came in. And now we're getting a lot more corrections that I've spoken of before. This market is really struggling to uh, to hold. So uh, just out of curiosity, let's just load up a monthly chart as well. So you can get a, a full picture of where we're coming from. 2009 is where QE started. And there you can see it there. And again, all the way through Obama, no problem. And through the first two years of Trump, not a problem either. But now uh, you can see that we have got this uh, situation where the market's uh, going nowhere and the corrections are becoming more frequent. Also, the volume has built up as well. This is a classic distribution where the pros are, are likely to be getting out and uh, uh, the sheep the public getting into the markets fearful of uh, missing out so it's always good to step back have a look at the bigger picture no matter what the market because then when you do this you can actually uh, trade the intraday a lot more comfortably knowing where uh, the market is in the bigger picture so we'll save this and we'll keep this and we don't need to look at it each day but it's good to come back and and see how things are developing and again you can see down here you know we've got this classic case of the volume increasing in these markets and that's showing two things as i said one in distribution and two the volatility in price swings so a good market to, to certainly trade intraday as you can see from this chart very predictable in its action as uh, we've seen as well in all of the market alerts for several years now what the market does. The futures market will move the market higher. The cash market will try and hold it as well. And if not, then it will move lower. Uh, there's, a, there's a pattern. Um, as I say, they're all the different patterns that have been repeatable and then consistent are in the alert. So we can see uh, the market going through the two averages on um, a Friday and then continuing to move to the upside. Then there was a, a bit of a shakeout, and then you see them buy back the market here, huge volume, isolated volume, market retraces, and then they send the market higher. Again, double top in this market, as uh, you can see there. Uh, three trades to the upside, and then they get uh, a shakeout, which you can see there. And where does it shake out to? The 200 MA. And then overnight, uh, we've seen the market pull back to the MA as well. We see the buying pressure coming in here and then just uh, moving sideways to higher until we see the market now actually break the 200 MA. Watch for the DP level, watch for Friday's close. And something you need to be aware of today, it's only electronic today as we bank holiday day today. In the US, it's Columbus Day. So all bonds closed today. Financials are closed. Uh, the Dow will continue to trade as normal Columbus Day uh, today for the US. And then uh, finally, in uh, the pound, this also higher on Friday. Some buying there. Prospect of a Brexit deal. The Irish board are sorted or not sorted. Uh, it's going to get more volatile as we go forward and predict unpredictable. In the next uh, week, as we head towards the 31st, 
and Boris going to Europe. So uh, again, just be warned, uh, there will be a lot of volatility in this market. So a bit of weakness at the moment as the market traded right up to the 200 MA. And then in the smaller time frame on Friday, you can see you know, all was quiet, uh, market sideways, and then all of a sudden we get a blast out with professional uh, buying there and the market just ripping higher with uh, buying there. So be, be warned uh, as far as the pound is concerned, you could see uh, a bit more of this. Right, so have a quick look at uh, other things. We've got uh, the implied volatility dropping sharply on Friday down to uh, 1448 from 1678, back below the average line and also uh, we're back above the 20 MA here. So the risk at the moment has seems to have been removed as far as if we were looking at it technically but uh, fundamentally the risks are still there but uh, the market not seeing this or pricing this in at the moment you see we're back to uh, green now and then on the uh, upside we're also back above the average there so we'll see what happens today but say it's um, uh, Columbus Day today for the US a uh, 10 year yield three month yield has uh, become normal and I mentioned this last week that uh, this is what we need to see before we have uh, the markets go into a recession or things start to change that the yields become uh, a lot higher and uh, spike to the upside so it looks like the current uh, range of inversion of uh, the three and ten month uh, uh, bond yields is over we did have a little one there where it came through so let's see but today the uh, bond markets are closed so we're not going to know until uh, Wednesday there okay that's it uh, for this one uh, like I say US markets uh, bond financials closed uh, Bitcoin struggling the pound a bit unpredictable because of uh, whatever news is going to come out as far as uh, Boris is concerned so the Dow today uh, should be a fairly steady trading session with uh, the uh, the financials close so we'll see how things uh, pan out in the pre-market session okay that's it uh, for this one if there is anything else to report today i will uh, let you know but otherwise uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one